Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this circle whose area is 153.86 square meters and moreover, this purple square is inscribed in this circle and now we are going to find the area of this green shaded region. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and recall the area of this circle has been given to us is 153.86. And now we want to write this area of the circle in terms of pi. So let me show you how we're going to manipulate this equation. I am going to multiply and divide by pi at the same time and we know that the pi value is 3.14 so i am going to replace this denominator pi by this 3.14 value so this could be written as 153.86 pi divided by 3.14 Four. And now if we divide this one, we can simplify it to 49 pi. So thus the area of this circle turns out to be 49 pi. And now let's suppose the radius of this circle is lowercase r whose center is O. Now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square and here we got area of a circle 49 pi. Let's go ahead and compare these two equations so I can write this one pi r square equal to 49 pi. Now let me go ahead and divide both sides by pi. And here this pi and pi cancels out and this pi and this pi is gone. So we ended up with r square equal to 49. Let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square. Square and square root this is gone. So r turns out to be equal to positive or negative 7. And since r is the radius and radius represents the length so therefore radius must be positive so therefore we are going to pick r equal to positive 7 value so thus the radius turns out to be positive 7 so that means this radius is 7 meters so the diameter of this circle is going to be 7 and then plus 7 means it's going to be 14 meters now in this next step let's observe that this ac is the diameter of this circle and moreover this is also the diagonal of this square as we can see therefore the diagonal of this purple square turns out to be 14 meters now let's recall the definition of a square all sides have equal lengths that means these all sides are equal in length and moreover every interior angle is 90 degrees that means this angle is 90 degrees this is 90 degrees this one is 90 and this one is 90 as well. Now we know that this angle is 90 degrees and since this is the AC is the diagonal so that means these angles have got to be 45 degrees and this angle has also got to be 45 degrees. Now let's focus on this triangle ABC. Let's go ahead and write down this triangle a b c this one and now let's recall 45 45 90 degrees triangle theorem in a 45 45 90 degrees triangle the length of the hypotenuse is the length of a leg times square root of 2 as you can see in this figure if these two lengths are a each then the hypotenuse is going to become a times square root of 2. So let's 
focus on our this triangle ABC. I am going to call this side A and this side is going to be A as well. Then this hypotenuse AC is going to be A times square root of 2. Now we can see that this diagonal AC which is 14 meters and this diagonal is also same as the hypotenuse. So therefore we can equate them. I can write a times square root of 2 equals to 14 and now we are going to solve for a. Let me go ahead and divide both sides by square root of 2 and square root of 2 on this side as well. So this is gone. So a turns out to be 14 divided by square root of 2 and now since the denominator has a radical so therefore we are going to rationalize it. I am going to multiply and divide by square root of 2 so that is going to give us 14 times square root of 2 and at the denominator when we multiply to these radical that is equal to simply 2. So thus our a value turns out to be 7 times square root of 2. And now we know that a represents the side length of a square which is 7 times square root of 2. So the side length of this square turns out to be 7 times square root of 2. This side 7 times square root of 2 and 7 times square root of 2 and over here 7 times square root of 2 as well. Now let's go ahead and calculate the area of this purple square. And here's the area of a square formula. Area equal to s square where s represents the side length of this square and in our case the side length is 7 times square root of 2. So therefore our area is going to be 7 times square root of 2 square. So that is going to give us 49. 7 square is 49 and here square and square root this is gone times become simply 2. So area turns out to be 98 square meters. So thus the area of this square turns out to be 98. And here's our final step. Let's go ahead and calculate the area of this green shaded region. And we know that this is equal to the area of a circle minus the area of the square. So area of this green shaded region is going to be simply 49 pi minus 98. So thus the area of this green shaded region turns out to be 49 pi minus 98 or approximately equal to 55.86 square meters and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.